She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Walk across the room, slow. Taking her time like she was a supermodel on a catwalk. Until she's standing real close to me at the bar and she goes, Your place or mine? And I play it cool. I go, yours, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. I saw the same movie yesterday. You should listen. You might learn something. Right. How to make a fool of yourself. <laughs> Your place or mine. Jesus. You're jealous. Shoot the kill! The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's just it. What you don't see is that we are working here. This is a pro set, top of the line. This isn't something to joke about. This isn't just a costume party. Well, take Kaufman. Believe me, without going into details, Kaufman is a bad motherfucker. Of course, that's not his real name. Yeah, no, I see it. I, I meant nothing by it. And that's the other thing. You should mean something by it. Take a stand for once in your life. Come on, I get the point, okay? Hey, just saying. Just saying. Yeah, I get the point. Hey, you! <laughs> They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm in. Gotta look around. Nothing here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. This place needs to be cleaner it's ever been. Kaufman's orders. If and when the CSI crew gets here, it needs to look like a black hole materialized in here and sucked every print, every hair, every moat of dust away. Like someone went back in a time machine and killed his parents before they met. Like this guy never existed. Let's do it. Almost done. Stop him! <laughs> I'll 
I'll take care of downstairs. We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. Sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. A 
address unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphone started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John, you must run. He's coming after you. He wants to catch you. They're closing in. John, I love you. Don't give up. I wasn't going to give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. A stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop him! There he goes! Stop him! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the flamingo on them. I ran. Interfectum, 600 milligrams. A serious painkiller for serious pain. Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby.
find him and take care of him. Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. 